Street Effects Highway Diaries. I'm Andrew from Zero to Sixty. I'm Mark from Street Effects, and we're we're going to have a bit of a discussion about. Uh, people always ask what the noise of this car makes, and so we get like this that choo -choo -choo flutter. Stoo, stoo, stoo. Yeah, known as dose compressor surge flutter, pigeon noises. I don't know whatever else you want it to be, but it sounds. It sounds wicked, and there are a lot of misconceptions about what that noise actually is. First off, it is not the turbo spinning backwards. You sure? just think about the physics of it, it's impossible. The turbo is currently spinning, when it's under boost, we're talking like 100 to 120,000 RPM. The exhaust is still driving it. Yep. So people that say that that's your turbo spinning backwards, they've got rocks in their head. So what it actually is though, is when the throttle body snaps shut, well, there's actually two types of compressor surge. Yeah. One is what you just heard before, and this is the second sort. This is... So that's, that's, that's making the noise while you're accelerating. Yes, that's called open throttle compressor surge. Okay. That is caused by the fact that the turbo is quite large and it's making so much boost that the engine can't even use the amount of boost that it's making. It's causing the compressor to stall and it makes that compressor surge noise. But it's very similar. It sounds basically the same as the noise that you get from a, uh, a normal compressor surge, which is under throttle closed. So when you back off the throttle, under a normal circumstance, you have something like a blow-off valve that uh, ends up shutting. There's nowhere for the air to go. The turbo blades are still trying to push air into your engine, and it doesn't have anywhere to go. So it ends up making like that resonant choo choo sound. Yep. Um, and that's like, if you sort of think about it, it's very similar to the sort of noise you get like those, well, those Blue Man bands where they're like on the pipes. I know exactly what you mean. So the different tones are caused by the amount of volume and the length of the piping. So the size of your intercooler, the uh, amount of piping you've got between your intake and your, uh, your throttle body. Well, rotaries make this noise as well. Is it the same thing going on in a rotary? Any boosted car makes this noise. Like if you've got a, a very tight blow-off valve or no blow-off valve at all. This car does have a blow-off valve. However, I do like this sound. So the blow-off valve is tightened right up. So I won't do it unless so you really it doesn't do it up. unless you're damn straight on the, um, like you get straight off the throttle and then it'll it'll go choo 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 like that. Well, thank you very much for the explanation. I think no we worries. should cut in about 30 seconds of... Man, I could listen to that noise all day. I love that noise. <laughs> So, but I mean, like one of the other things that people ask, or you always read, the people going, oh, good luck, you're going to destroy your turbo with that noise. It is true that, like, it's more, probably more destructive for your performance than it is for the turbo. The problem is when you're spooling a turbo this big, it takes quite a lot of effort for the, the wheel to start turning. And so if you're snapping your throttle body shut and the turbo's got nowhere for the air to go, so it actually is trying to slow down at a great rate of speed. Yeah. And it means that it's gonna take quite a while to start spooling up again. So. A blow off valve helps you reduce the turbo lag because the spool, uh, sorry, the turbo is still spinning fast. Whereas when you're getting all this compressor surge noise, the turbo is trying to slow down, doesn't really know what's going on, and uh, you'll end up potentially losing a little bit of uh, spool there. Like, but to be honest, in this it's car, I enjoy the noise, so I don't really care about that. You want the X 15th millionth of a second of, of uh, boost lag. So, so it's more of a it's, a, it's almost a, a wives tale. Look, a lot of people say it's wrecking your turbo. I can see that it may apply a little bit more uh, stress and strain to the bearings because the turbo wheel is going to want to move around a little bit. Yep. But I've, done, I've been doing this in most of my cars for a good 10, 15 years. I've owned 800 horsepower Supras, 1000 horsepower GDRs. How many turbos have you blown up? Never, never blown up turbo. On one of my Supras I did blow the turbo, but that was because the nut on the end of the comp wheel unscrewed and it ended up chewing itself oh, out. So that was gonna happen regardless. That's fair so, enough. Uh, but yeah, it, it's, uh, it's 
So to summarise, I guess, because I, I honestly didn't know, it's when you shut the throttle body, yep. the boosted air hits the throttle body, yep. and then it ricochets back It's compressing the... inside that whole conduit of piping, which is in your intercooler, yep. and it comes back out the spout of the, the intake of the turbo. That's where the noise is coming out. So if you've uh, seen a video of a car on a dyno, there's a, a specific video on YouTube. The guy's got a bunch of business cards sitting near the turbo, mm -hmm. and it's on the dyno, and then when he backs off the throttle, all the cards go flying off into the audience. Oh, so it's actually a... It's coming... If all that compressed air comes flying back out through the, the compressor. Which is why side. cars with pop filters, it's much louder on. Yes. If you've got a normal air box, it's very muffled. Whereas when you've got a pop filter or no in air intake filter at all, That's why um, it's loud. It's very loud. Like on this car, we do have a filter, but it's extremely loud anyway. Well, full of knowledge again. I've enjoyed it. We're nearly through this traffic. Oh. <laughs> I doubt got, it. I hope you guys find it a little bit, little bit interesting. Thanks very much for watching. Give it a like. And uh, yeah, make sure you like and uh, subscribe to the channel because we'll be coming up with loads of content like this. And I'm thinking this heat and this sort of trip has inspired me to do one about why race cars do not make good <laughs> road cars. I am sweating like a crazy man in here. Thanks very much, everyone. We'll catch you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.